Welcome to Captain Handlebar, and today is Stone Temple Pilots, should they stay or should they go? Stick around. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so down below, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon for notifications. So yesterday, Stone Temple Pilots announced a new lead singer at the Troubadour. Um, they also released a new single. And I was scrolling through Facebook last night and this morning, and there's a lot of my Facebook friends are saying that eh, Stone Temple Pilots, they should just call it quits. They should just uh, quit, you know, quit doing what they do, um, quit beating a dead horse, a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, it's coming up on the second anniversary of Scott Weiland's death, so they feel it's kind of disrespectful. Now, anyway, if you have any comments down below on what you think about the new guy, his name is Jeff Goot. Uh, comment down below, um, but my opinion on the whole thing is, is should a band continue after a founding member passes away? Well, Stone Temple Pilots has been around for quite a while now, since the, uh, since the early 90s, I believe 93, 94, and Scott Weiland has been fired, he's been rehired, he's been fired again. So, plus their last album, their last STP album with the peace sign on it, for me was very lackluster. Their first uh, five albums were great. My favorite was the third one. But should a band that has been around for 25 years or so, should they continue when a founding member passes away? And um, it's my belief that whether it's a lead singer, a drummer, or a guitarist, or a, you know, whoever, I believe that if the, if, the, if the core members, if the core founding members of the band want to continue, then that is their choice, and they should. And I'll tell you why. Lots of good music has come due to a change of events. Now, I'm not saying that a person's death is by any means something light or should be viewed light. It is very, very tragic what happened to Scott Weiland. I feel very much for his children and for his family. Um, but I'm going to say ACDC um, as an uh, example. ACDC were around and they had Bon Scott. Bon Scott passed away and the rest of the members decided to keep going and they found Brian Johnson. And well, Brian Johnson is by no means Bon Scott. However, Brian Johnson has brought something new to ACDC. Or at least back in the 80s, they brought, I mean, Back in Black was an amazing album. And that was their big comeback album from that, that, from that uh, tragic incident with Bon Scott. Now, <clears throat> other bands have continued. Um, Leonard Skinner, for instance, you know, they had three of their founding members die in a plane crash. One of which being their lead singer, Ronnie Van Zant. And they have continued to push through. Granted, they haven't had the staying power of ACDC, in my opinion. Other bands, for instance, have lost drummers, bass players, and whatnot. I mean, Cliff Burton from Metallica, he passed away. Um, they got Jason Newstead, and they continued to go. Rolling Stones, Brian Jones passed away, they continued. Um, I had a whole list of them in my head, and it seems like once I get in front of the camera, they all seem to poof. They seem to go away. Oh, The Who, you know, Keith Moon passed away. They got a new drummer, they continued, who still plays today. Um, Led Zeppelin, John Bonham passed away, and they continued up to a point, and then they decided to stop. Pink Floyd is another big one, you know. I mean, <clears throat> Sid Barrett left the band, they continued. Um, Sid Barrett did eventually pass away, I believe it was in the 90s, and uh, they have still continued. I mean, even with Roger Waters leaving... Um, they still continue to go. I believe it's up to the core members of the band on whether they <clears throat> feel it's in the best interest of, I guess, their legacy. Because if they, to me, ACDC, they kept up with what they did, with what they do. You know, they didn't bring back a less, a lesser quality of an album. They continue to have those, you know, hits every so often, and they're they're rock and roll anthems, half of them you hear at freaking baseball games, you know? Or sports games, whatever. So to me, the fact that Stone Temple Pilots is continuing with a new guy named Jeff Goot, um, it's, it's up to them, truly. And I will have their back 100%. 
And now we're where now now's where I get the comments down below saying you're an idiot. Sun Temple Pilots should go away. But I'm gonna tell you why, because <clears throat> you have to give them a chance. You can't just say, well, dude, you guys should just quit altogether. You have to give them a chance to see what they've got to continue with the Stone Temple Pilots name. You know, they might come out with some great music and you might say, oh my gosh, this reminds me of how I felt when I listened to Scott Weiland sing with Stone Temple Pilots. That being said, I'm giving them a chance. However, if I don't like their new music, I'm not going to like their new music. You know, I'm not going to want to see them live. I feel kind of sad that my kids will never see Stone Temple Pilots alive. I, I think that that's, that really sucks. I got to see them at the Hollywood Bowl, I think back in 07 or 08, and they were awesome. Scott Weiland is an ex excellent frontman. I also saw him um, after he came out with, I want to say, 12 Bar Blues. I saw him at the, uh, or maybe it was his second solo album. I saw him at the Roxy. He was also, he had a clothing line or whatever, and he did a great solo show as well. But we have to see, we have to give them a chance. Or at least me, as a fan of Stone Temple Pilots, I want to give the three other founding members that are still with, still with it, I want to give them a chance. I mean, the DeLeo brothers are an awesome, I mean, they're awesome musicians. Same thing with the drummer, um, Eric. He, he's... To me, they're, they're good, and they just need a good back, uh, good lead singer, you know? But to say straight up that we shouldn't give them a chance and that they're just beating a dead horse, I find that sort of disrespectful just because, you know, they, they were through the highs and lows with Scott Weiland. And to say that you guys should just give up, you know, you guys will never be what you could because Scott Weiland made it, I think that's totally kicking them in the butts and saying, you know, you guys are nothing without this guy. And everybody deserves a chance, and I believe they deserve a chance, you know? You gotta keep going, otherwise, you know, what are you fighting for? And the fact that they want to keep on going, then that's their decision. So anyway, um, that's my opinion on it. I did listen to their new single, uh, Meadows, and I thought it was sort of reminiscent to Scott Weiland. The lead singer seems to have uh, the same or similar vocal range. I don't know why they chose to pick somebody with the same or similar vocal range um, unless they just want to emulate what Scott brought to the band. Um, I was sort of hoping that they would just try to change it up a bit, but they probably want to keep the core STP fans with them instead of losing a big, a big bunch by changing their sound altogether, because then maybe they should just change their name or whatnot. But, uh, Anyway, I'm going to give them a chance. I can't wait to see what music they come out with. And like I said, if I don't like it, I don't like it. When I hear more, if they come out with an album with the material, I'll do a review on it and let you guys know how I feel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, you know, just give me a thumbs down, whatever. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Tell me what you think about this new lead singer. Tell me what you think about Stone Temple Pilots and if they should continue or if they should just call it quit. And let me know why in the comments down below. I'm, I'm curious as to, uh, as to see why you guys feel that way, you know? I know it's extremely tragic because Stone Temple Pilots lost two great lead singers in the past two years. Um, and some people might think that they're coming out a bit too soon with, uh, with a new guy. But, uh, I don't know, they might just be trying to grieve their own way. You know, I mean, one of the best things about music is it heals. So maybe this is their way of, of trying to heal and pass on that legacy of, of their past. Um, but like I said, thanks for watching. Catch you on the B-sides. Rock on. And uh, let me know what you think down below. Later.